Hi, preschool friends. Good to see you. It's Tuesday, May 12th. It's my husband's birthday. Tuesday, May 12th. And it's Jack. Special day. J-A-C-K. Jack. So, thumbs up for Jack and let's ring our bell and have our circle time. Ready? Sing with me, friends. Ring, ring, ring the bell so everybody hears. Time to gather round. Circle time is here. All right, and let's say our prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, thank you for my friends, and thank you for Jack. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. What do you think Jack would bring for sharing? I bet he'd bring a truck. What do you think? He loves trucks and knows a lot about them, doesn't he? Alrighty, so for your work today, we have this paper with this little caterpillar, and it says trace these dotted lines. Start at the top every time. So this is really good practice because when you're ready to learn letters, we always start the letters at the top. In fact, there's a whole song about them that we'll listen to on this CD, and it goes like this. Where do you start your letters at the top? Where do you start your letters at the top? So it's a fun song. It will help you remember. So on the caterpillar, you're going to start at the top and go down and try to stay right on the line. Try to stay right on the line. And then these lines go at a little bit of an angle. They're tilted a little bit. So pay attention. And then these lines go up the other way at a different angle. So start your line at the top. You could use different colored crayons if you'd like. But go nice and slow. And remember when you're writing, you want to put your other hand down to hold your paper down. And that's called your helping hand. And your helping hand helps you write really carefully. Alrighty, and then your next work is cutting. You can color and cut the flower stems. So I hope you have kid scissors like we do at school. If not, it's okay. But you're gonna cut, hold the paper with one hand and then cut. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. When you're cutting, you want your thumb to go in the top hole. And you want your nail pointing straight up. And then you can put two, some people put three fingers in the bottom. So thumb pointing up to the ceiling. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. So cutting is always a great thing to practice at home because we'll do more cutting next year but we never cut hair right we just cut paper just cut paper and check with your adult first to make sure the paper is okay to cut this is especially for you to cut then it has even a little picture of scissors so cut 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 along those stems okay and if you're not quite ready to cut, or even if you are, know how to cut, but you just want to practice, if you find some old paper, if mom or dad or grandma or grandpa give you some old paper, you can also practice tearing paper, tearing it into little pieces. And that is good for your finger muscles, okay? So just check with an adult and make sure it's okay before you tear. But I think most of you are ready for um, cutting. So, good job on your work, and then put a sticker on. Alrighty. Remember this in our red bucket, 10 shiny snails? 10 shiny snails. 10 shiny snails come out to play one night. One joins some fireflies in the moon's soft light. 
So now there's how many? If there were ten and one went away, now there are nine. Nine little snails go softly sliding by. One spots some baby owls roosting way up high. Eight playful snails find a freshly dug hole. One stays to chatter with a friendly mole. Seven small snails go gliding round the pool. One watches frogs splash in water deep and cool. Do you hear pool and cool rhyme? Pool and cool. Six smiling snails go climbing up a tree. One spots a squirrel running round with glee. Should we count them, friends? Yet. Where's my pointer? Oh well. I don't know where my little star is that I point with. I'll use the crayon. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Five tiny snails play in the gentle breeze. One joins a hedgehog in the rustling leaves. Oh, my Jane loves hedgehogs. She has so many hedgehog stuffed animals. Maybe I'll show you some. Four lively snails meet some bats above the ground. One feels sleepy, so decides to hang around. Three busy snails see a fox passing by. One stops to play beneath the starry sky. Two friendly snails watch rabbits leap and hop. One is feeling tired, so he decides to stop. Stop, hop. It sound the same at the end. One sleepy snail tells some mice along the way, I need to find my friends, although I'd like to stay. Ten happy snails meet in their favorite spot. Here they are home again around the flower pot. All ten back again. This is the one where you can feel the little snails. It's a fun one. All right, let's do some duckies on our felt board. Five little ducks went out one day. Remember that one? <clears throat> Let's see. Five little ducks went out one day. One, two, three, four, five. And then didn't we do this over the hills and far away? Mother duck said, what? Crack, crack, but only four little ducks came back. Take one away. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but no little ducks came back. Sad mother duck went out one day. Can you show me a sad mother duck? Over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, quack, quack. 
quack. And all of the five little ducks came back. Hooray! One, two, count with me, three, four, five. All five came back. Phew! That made the mommy happy, right? Alrighty, let's sing our calendar days of the week song that I taught you. So our month is May, and then remember there's days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that make up a whole week. So we, this is how the song goes. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week. Good job. I'll point with the crayon again. So there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week. So today, Today is Tuesday, May 12th. That means yesterday, the day we already had, yesterday was Monday, May 11th. And then tomorrow, so after you go to bed and wake up, tomorrow will be Wednesday, tomorrow, May 13th. Alrighty, let's try some nursery rhymes from our new book, Mother Goose. I'm so happy I bought this book. Alright. Oh, pat a cake, pat a cake. I bet a lot of you know that one. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to look at the queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under a chair. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? I know that one has a song. <laughs> Alrighty, I have a book I picked up from school called Lunch. Lunch. This has such fun pictures. And it even won, I think it was a Caldecott, an honor book. So like a runner up for really great pictures. Mouse was very hungry. He was so hungry. He ate a crisp white, what do you think he ate that was crisp and white? Hmm. Turnip, a turnip, that's a vegetable. Tasty orange, hmm, can you think of something tasty and orange? Carrots, carrots. Sweet yellow, what could it be? What's sweet and yellow? Hmm. Corn, corn. Tender green, hmm. <gasps> peas, peas. Tart blue, berries. Sour, purple, grapes. We had grapes at snack sometimes, didn't we? Grapes. Shiny red, what's gonna be shiny and red? Think of shiny red foods. Apples, apples. 
And juicy pink. What could it be? What's juicy and pink? I think I ate this today. Watermelon. Yum. I love watermelon. Crunchy black seeds and all. Well, he ate the seeds even. Then, oh gosh, what's gonna happen? He took a nap until dinner time. Oh my gosh, he's gonna eat all over again? And he's even going sniff, sniff. I think he's smelling, smelling with his nose, smelling dinner. <laughs> That's a fun one. What pretty pictures. Alrighty, let's do a few of our songs. Should we do beehive? You want to get your beehive ready? Here is the beehive. Where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch as they come out of their hive. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Buzzing! I saw three bees yesterday near my purple flower. Three bees. They were just minding their own business, though. Oh, let's try wheels on the bus. We haven't done that for a while. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back. All through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close, all through the town. The babies on the bus go where, 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 where. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. Good job. That's a fun one. I love that one. Okay, my friends. Let's see. I think that's it for Tuesday. So it's Tuesday, May 12th. And oh, what's the weather at your house? My weather is just um, gray right now. We had nice weather this weekend, didn't we? But right now, yep, just cloudy. But still kind of warm out. Jane and I went running yesterday and it felt humid. It felt sticky. Warm. And then it got rainy. It's crazy weather. Okay, so make sure you do a real careful job cutting. And go ahead and color your flowers too if you'd like. And then a really good job top to bottom. Where do you start your letters at the top? Okay, so we'll always start our letters at the top. And remember, you can always turn your paper over and practice writing your name or drawing a person or whatever you want. But you could use the back of your paper too. All right. I think that's it for today. Jack! Great job, Jack, and hi to Ella. And you guys are doing such a good job when we have our meetings. And Miss Pearl was happy to read to you. She's also gonna do a special, um, a special video for you guys with Mrs. Glaze. You remember Mrs. Glaze, we'd see her on the playground. So they'll do a video together so you can see them a little more too. I know you missed both of them. 
So we'll see you Thursday for school and Thursday for our Zoom meeting. Oh, that was fun, everyone in their pajamas. And Otis even had a robe. And, and it was pet day, too. And remember, Kelton had on Dalmatian. That's a kind of pet, right? Or it can be. Dalmatian pajamas. That was so fun. Pajama day was fun. Spirit week was fun. You guys did a, a great job with that. Alrighty, let's sing our goodbye song and then we'll see everybody on Thursday and keep up um, the good work at home and do a really good job listening to mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, okay? Alright, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, time to go, time to go, thank you friends for sharing. Thank you, friends, for caring. Love you so. Love you so. Bye-bye, my friends. We'll see everybody on our next school day, Thursday. Our next school day is Thursday. Okay, miss you. See you soon. And Miss Pearl misses you, too. Bye-bye.